Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Last episode, we made it here to Path of the, or excuse me, the Atlas Station here, and this thing's just intense. Uh, so we're going to continue on the Path of the Atlas because I think it's cool. And um, yeah, we got to see where we're going to go next, though. Um, I think I'm going to check out the freighter in the system here and see if maybe we can start working towards building or picking one up. I know we're not like rich right now. <laughs> we don't have a lot of money to work with, but it would be good to start working towards a freighter because then like my biggest thing has been inventory and having a freighter would be nice. So let's go head over that way. So apparently it's around the other side. So yeah, Mouthburn was saying a couple hundred thousand, so... I mean, I was thinking millions too, but... If we can find one for a couple hundred thousand, that'd be great. Hey, buddy. Watch your ship, homie. Okay. No idea what you're saying. An air of weary authority clearly marks this being as the freighter's captain. Do they tire of the burden of ownership, I wonder? The responsibility for the life and livelihood of their crew must weigh heavy on their mind. They seem amenable to an offer. Freighter brings access to a large inventory, a hangar bay, which is to store multiple ships, and space, which is to construct an orbital base. That'd be kind of cool. It's a fine ship. The crew will serve you well, Captain. Okay. Hot. 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 <laughs> but 18 slots, man. But it, can't you, like, put, uh, put, like, storage bays in these, though? Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's just that's just so much. It's not even close. Like, I mean, it's not shit, buddy. But uh, yeah, I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Thanks, but no thanks. How about that? So maybe I need to start saving up a little more. I need to figure out a, a good way to make money. That is probably the thing I'm lacking on right now. Like I said, I used to like do like trading at outposts, or excuse me, at stations. And that used to do pretty well for me. But, um, I think they fixed that. This is a little bit of an exploit. Super rare to see cheap ones. Oh, okay. So I just got to check every single one I find and make more money. <laughs> welcome to whoever just subscribed. Welcome, welcome. Okay. I'm going to hop into the station here and see if I can do some trading because that'd be kind of nice. And if I can work something out, then uh, maybe we'll hang out here. If this is like a super busy station, and it looks like it, maybe it will be. I'm curious of what this stuff is. It looks different than the other stuff. Probably just iron and thamium like usual. What's this? Emerald. Oh, wow. Emerald. I, I can totally do that. I will collect these. That'll give me some monies. But only like 10 at a time, though. I don't know if it's worth the time. Let's get to the station. What just happened? Okay. I have no idea what just happened.
you have to start a farm to craft something worth lots in order to get into the freighter game. Oh, okay. So you have to make the base first and get the farm going. Got it. All right. So that's definitely something I'm missing. So, I mean, I guess then the, the struggle of the game is do you go out and explore and live the nomadic, I guess, poor lifestyle like I have been? Or do you settle down on a specific planet and start doing farming? I mean, I guess you do both. And goodbye to whoever just unsubscribed. Now you're messing with me. Ivy, what's up, man? How you doing? Almost there. I think somebody's just sitting there spamming the button. Just because they're cheeky. You're on the next hype train. Oh, yeah, man. I'm excited for it. I'm going to be doing a long, like, six-plus-hour stream that day when it releases. It's going to be awesome. Is that a pink ship? Is that literally, like, a Pepto-Bismol pink ship? That's exactly what it is. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's see how much that's going to cost. Negotiate price. It's a B with 23 slots. Mine has 20, 31 slots. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you have anything I could buy based on the galactic price? Welcome to whoever just subscribed. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, let's buy items. Okay. They have these. Descented pheromones for minus 18%. That's a significant drop. I think I'm going to do that. Do I not have the inventory space for it? Why is it red? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Don't get worried. I got this. I got this. Even though I have slots right here, man. Come on. Seriously. Me to do that. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Uh, let's see here. You can easily do both. That's what the transporters are for. Once you get a farm going, you have to get. Oh, okay. So, so you can get back to your base regardless of whether you where you are in the galaxy. I never really explored that mechanic, so. That would make things a little easier. I thought I had to make a base anywhere I went. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, okay, so these take up one each. All right. Okay, let's go sell. Hello. Okay, uh, something data research unavailable. The electronic life form narrows their mask lights in frustration and furiously taps at their workstation. They look at me with agitation, presumably doubting that a low intelligence being can help access the terminal. A bypass chip was certainly up here, but whether the life form would appreciate the illegal device is unknown. I don't have one, but I'm going to try it anyway. The life form pushes me away from the terminal and clearly resents my interference. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'm a normal. Okay, let's make a little money off of what I just purchased. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that guy. Yeah, those guys. I don't think I really made all that much off of that sales. That sale. I guess I probably should have checked the percent there too. I just kind of clicked and didn't look. Good job. So 
So if I buy some of these at oh, okay, yeah, this was already at negative twenty. Damn, yeah, I didn't make any money on that. Hmm. I remember the dynamic resonators used to go for a lot. That's a cool ship. That's a crazy ship. Holy crap. Fascinating. Okay. Let's uh, see how much yours is worth. Oh my gosh. For 27 slots. Yeah. Well, I mean, mine's got 31, so whatever. But these are these are open slots, though, right? <laughs> what do you have in terms of inventory or uh, stuff to sell? Let's try this again and actually pay attention to the numbers, because that's how you do it, man. These are all plus. Oh man, I could sell him some suspension fluid and get some money, but I need my suspension fluid, and he's got nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna pass on that. Then. Anybody else coming in? No. What's up, Sticks? How's it going, buddy? Okay, well, that was fun. Okay, let's, uh... Can we do a jump? Great. Okay, there we go. We're making progress. I'm starting to think about that farm idea, though. I haven't spent enough time at my base, really, to build it up like I should. Maybe that's something I should focus on. Bounce back and forth between traveling and getting back to the base. in here. Nope. Okay. Shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Okay. I made it. I made it. I'm good. Back into Gek territory here, it seems. Hey, buddy. Okay, friend. Something, something. Here it looks weak, but they have a cunning air about them. They spin a data pad towards me, and I see that they're selling multi-tool components. The prices, however, are eye-watering. They eye me with a wary interest. Waiting to see if I'll bite. Um, uh, let's do it. The delighted trader provides a blueprint. It meant an amazing scent. New technology: grenade propulsion. Interesting. Launches grenades at high velocity. Okay. Okay, no idea. Gek is most miserable sight. Picture of dismay and deflation. They look at me in a way that begs for pity. Um, sure. Gek is overjoyed, looking at me with what might be even described as love. Oh boy. Gek, something, something, friend, something, something. Trader indicates that they are open for conversation. Flick of their beak and sweet smelling gas mission. Uh, don't have any Gek nip. Let's go ahead and get some dialect up. So, trader. All right. That's fun. Do you have anything I can sell? <laughs> Probably not. Let's go ahead and get rid of this carbon that I just randomly have sitting around. Good. So there's another 
scientist vessel out here. See if they have anything I could buy and sell back. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and buy. Let's see what you have. So everything is red. Everything is red. Okay. Nope. Okay, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe we go ahead and switch gears here and head back over to the base and start looking at the whole farming thing, because that would be good. Because the, the, the whole financial thing and the whole inventory thing will be solved, and then my, my enjoyment of the game will increase. So I think I'm going to do that. A little bit of a jump. I am back, guys. How have you guys been? All right, so um, now it's been a while since I've worked on building parts to my base. So how was I going to do that? I think I was going to build something that stuck out this side. Um, is it? Is it? Oh crap! I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten. Uh, X. Okay, that was not it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we have enough iron for that. Let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's do another room. Maybe this will be a farming room. Or do you need certain things for farming? <laughs> Let's do another cylindrical room. Starship inside object. What? Oh, well, dude, come on. Come on, man. I mean, I guess maybe I shouldn't have built out that way then. Can I remove? Control. Yes. There we go. Let's, um, let's just connect these and then do another something like this. Does that work? There we go. Then we have what room parts and stuff that we can use. Uh, parts, there we go. Doors, ramps, ladders, windows. Windows would be nice, but I need glass and stuff for that. Okay, so we've built a nice little area over here. Now let's see if we can do anything in terms of farming. <laughs> uh, it's a structure. Okay, containers, here we go. I think. So these are storage units. Tech, no. So I don't think this is exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, <laughs> anybody want to offer up some suggestions as far as how these things work? <laughs> okay, so what, what was what was what was this over here? Previous base cash? What? What? Blueprint trader. Okay. Browse blueprints. Okay. Cuboid stuff. Hollow door. What does a hollow door do? Like a holographic door which allows clerks to access to any structure while regulating the temperature and toxicity of the interior. Okay, so it's like a door you can just walk through, I guess. Uh, colored lights. You can see your standing planter. Here we go. 
So what's the difference between this? So it's 15 and 15. I think they're the same thing. Hmm. So large wedge, shield station, health station. Nip nip. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, message one. Cool. Square room. That'd be kind of cool too. Let's go ahead and get this guy. And then I'm going to get the nip nip because maybe I can sell that. And then a uh, square room would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that. Dragon, what's up, man? How are you doing? And even though I was going to do it here, I'm going to do... I'm going to do... The square thing. Just because I'm going to do the square thing. I have no plan for the how I have my base laid out other than I'm just doing it. There we go. This works. Now let's see if we can make the planter. Farming. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I need power gel for that. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make eight in here. Okay. So I need eight power gels if I want to maximize this. Standing planter's decor. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, do you see my tips on your last video? Uh, remind me which tips. <laughs> That's not a lot of comments. I do apologize. Okay. Um, well, if it's for decor only, then that sucks. Because then I just spend a lot of money for doing nothing. Standing planter system for indoor cultivation of agricultural crops. I don't think that's the case. I think I can actually farm in here. So let's look here again. So in order to make the gel, I need carbon. Oh, okay. This is easy enough. Plutonium and carbon. Let's go collect some carbon. And I guess probably should have a door in here, but it's not the case. Back to the red planet here. Three. You can upgrade uh, Foy Cargo on your exes shoot on a pod. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've done that a few times. It's getting to the point where it's so expensive, like I can't really do it anymore. Oh, I didn't know you could do the tech slots. That's interesting. I'll have to figure that one out. I'm just grabbing a lot of carbon because I know I'll need it. Get a lag spike there. The titanium, yeah. Plutonium. I think plutonium is what we need. You know, I could take my uh, my vehicles out. That'd be nice. Yeah, when I get back to the base, I'll take the vehicles out next time. Plutonium. Let's grab that and get back and make some of these power cells or whatever they are. Okay. 
Ok, cool, c'est back. Man, if I would not have submitted this plan already, I should have called it Mars. Just just to be cheeky. It's because it's so freaking red. Okay. Let's go do some building. Need to make power cells. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and make some more. Can I do that? I would need more. What carbon for that? Okay. So we got two. That's good. It's a good start. So here, um, I had Geknip somewhere. <laughs> so now I have no idea how to use these because <laughs> I'm awesome. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So, okay. So I need to go get Geknip and Kelp Sack and I can't, I can't just plop it in here. It's not something I can do. All right. Well, that's, that's not going to work at all. Awesome. <laughs> I love knowing all this stuff and being like a complete pro. What's you have? Okay. Yeah, I don't think you have anything else for me. All right. Well, that's fun. I guess we could start looking for what is this for uh, blueprints for other stuff to plant terminals and other necessary building modules can be constructed with Z terminals must be staffed of course I rename the base yeah I'm not gonna do that all right well uh, that was fun I was hoping that would be a little bit more fruitful than it was I mean we have a start I just need to find other plants and stuff to put in there um, hmm so I'm going to have to figure it out. You have to wait. Oh, this one right here without doing anything will give me carbon. Okay. 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 Gotcha. I obviously have a lack of fundamental understanding of how farming works in this game. <laughs> but uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to continue working on the base a little bit. And uh, I need to get a farm situated so I can take care of money stuffs. And then... Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll solve a lot of troubles for us later on in the game. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of No Man's Sky. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what you do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. Because the more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. I definitely want to do that. So, definitely appreciate your support. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much. And, uh, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.